I should call it Islam, man. That's believe in God. Yeah. You believe in God alone and follow the teacher of Moses and Prophet Muhammad. Yeah. You know? Not Muhammad. No, Prophet Muhammad is the last prophet, yes. Listen, man, can we stick on one thing? No, 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 no. I'll no. finish you on the other things. Now we stick to this. Because you, if you don't believe in God, it's, it's a bigger problem. According to who? Yeah, how can you believe in God? I'd rather not talk about religion. We won't get anywhere. No, we get anywhere. This is more important than anything else. No. Well, why? Because if you die, yeah, if I die and yeah. I don't believe in God and I'm defending Palestine, they will not believe with me before God. You know, because believing God is the first. The first commandment in the Torah, what is it? To know that there is a God. And to love Him. Yeah. Yeah, how are you going to love Him if you don't know what makes Him, what is the thing that you should do to love Him, to, get, to gain His love? How can you do that? You need, you need divine scripture. Unite. Man, what, what, I don't understand. In order to worship God, yeah. you need a, a method to worship God. And logic dictates the only method, the correct one, it has to come from God Himself. That's why God sent Moses. So you don't believe in Moses, a prophet of God? I do believe Moses existed, yeah. No, no, I know that existed, yeah, but I said, is he a prophet of God? Did he speak to God directly? I'm yeah, and sure. the Bible, God I spoke. Don't know. I don't yeah, know. he spoke to God and God spoke to him. I don't know. Uh, what about Abraham? I don't know. Okay, so now, why do you think you have a right over Palestine? Whoa, where did this come from? You know why? Because in the Bible, in the Bible, you have okay, no. Sure. They use a the Bible to say they have a right over Palestine. Oh, Watch this, yes. The founders of Zionism were secularist atheists. Now, forget Zionism who now. Not... Who gave you a right over Palestine? Okay, sure. What's your criteria to right over a land? Okay, a right for a land means yeah. this land. Imagine now. I'll give you an example. Imagine I come to, uh, as an Algerian, I come to Britain. I said, Britain, this is my country. They're going to ask me why. I said to him, listen, God told me it's my country. Yeah. All because I'm just saying it. Because, you know, my people existed here 1,000 years ago. Therefore, it's my country. Okay. Yeah, so, no, so in order we to... We go into the desert, we dig, we find... We, we find uh, you know, I, can, I can show you hypocrites. Sir, why sir, don't you go sir. to Spain and say it's my country? Because the Jewish people were there sir, before them. Sir. In order, in yeah, order, anyway, in carry order on. to answer your question, yeah, go on. I need to understand on what basis you would give someone the right to a land. Um, so uh, the, just tell me so I can answer your question. No, correctly. no, before that, you, yeah. country, okay, how, do, prove to me that pa Palestine belongs to you. Prove to me. But I don't know what your criteria is. No, you said to me 3,000 years is your country. You said 3,000 years, yeah? yeah? And you trust in what? It's in the Bible, no, okay? But we were debating, we were debating the Bible then. No, okay, no. Do you, do would you respect, you... just so I know, do you yeah. respect international law? Do you believe in indigenous rights? Just so I know how to answer your question. According to international law, that I know that Israel came to exist in 1948. No, but I, I just... So do you accept it? There are many, there are, there are many ways to answer your question. I'm asking you a simple question. Yeah. Why you think, because a Muslim ruled Palestine for nearly uh, 1,000 years, yeah? So why you come to take over? You want to know why we came? Yeah, who, who gave you a right to come take over a country when the, the Muslims been there one for 1,000 years? There's a two different question. There's a two different question. It's the same, it's the same. Listen, bro, I, you know, I'm here to give doubt to people, yeah? If I'm yeah. Not, please, it's the same question, okay? Yeah. The Muslims, okay, do you think it's logical now for me, oh, forget all of that. Do you accept the Muslim was ruling Palestine for 1,000 years? Let's see, they conquered in around 700 and the British conquered in 1917. So that's, uh, yeah, that's 1,200 years. So, so do you accept that? Yeah. So why you came, know, yeah. So why you came take over? Who gave you a right to come take over? Why? Those are two different questions. No, it's not, it's connected. No, they're connected. No, no, it's connected. Do you want me to I, I'm not. What? What? That's the question. That's the question. Yeah. I, I just one thing at a time. Ah. Uh, okay. Yeah. Who gave? You, why you came to take over? Why? That's why? my question. Yeah. Sure. So two thousand years ago, uh, the Romans exiled the Jewish people from the land of Israel um, and dispersed them all around the world. Okay. Okay. In every single generation, three times a day, Jews yearn to return, and in many occasions, they tried. This yearning never ever stopped. Every day we pray to return to Jerusalem. Every day we pray to restore the independence in our land. Would you get that information from, if you don't mind? Any Jewish prayer? Yeah, so I don't trust it. I can't don't trust it. It's old book. Like you don't trust Torah, because that, that no, information... The Jews were praying for No, no, no. That information about the Romans and you came and you took over. Oh, the Romans? Yeah, yeah, all came over. That is in a Jewish, is in a Torah. The Torah... The is, Torah... The Torah, when the Torah ends before the Romans exist. I mean, when I said twice, the Old Testament, right? that's what I mean. 
the yeah. Torah, you know the Torah is the Old Testament. The Torah is the five books of Moses. No, not all the time. You, you, the Jewish people also refer to the Torah as the Old Testament. Sure. You can check it out, the yeah? Tanakh, the Tanakh yeah, the Tanakh. But it's all, all of them, all of them, yes? Yeah. My point here is you get that information from that book that you came, took over, you know, oh, God gave it to you. Then I didn't, I didn't mention God. Once. No, no, I, but I'm talking about that. My point here is you said there was a Canaanite there before yeah. Israel, yes? Before, uh, before, before Joshua conquered the land, yeah. Before, before even Israel, before Yaqub, before Jacob. Yeah. They were Canaanites, yeah? Yeah, God tells Abraham to go to the Canaanites. Uh, you yeah. accept, do you accept that? No, I thought we are talking biblical narrative. Yeah, yeah, but do you accept that or are you just saying it? I'm saying what the Bible says. Ah, okay, no problem. I just want to double check, yeah? So my point here is, you came and you took over the country of the Canaanites, Philistines, mm -hmm. yes? And it's been used the word Philistines, yes? Oh, the Philistines come later. But listen, I'll show you the word Philistines in the Old Testament. Now before that, because I want to understand you correctly, and I want to yes. see that you are going to, by no choice, you're going to go back to the Old Testament to verify or to justify your point. Alright, let's go back. So there were Canaanites there, yep. correct? So who, who told the Jewish people to go and take over? According to the Bible. No, say it in general. According to, you believe it's right for people to come take over a country? Depends. Okay, tell me which one you? Sorry? What do you believe? About what? Ah, oh, brother, is he, is he taking a mick? I, 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 I'm, not as, I, I, I'm not as intelligent as you. you no, no, my question simply, yeah. you said to me, because I know, if you do not use the Torah, you have no justification to come to Palestine sure to begin with. Huh? If you respect international law, then that's... Brother! Okay, it, okay so, it's a, to do with the so international law gave you a country that does not belong to them. Yeah, sure. And I just... Sorry? Is that just? Well, the way you framed it is incorrect. But you agreed with it? No, I didn't agree with the way you framed it. I'm saying, if uh, international brother, law... Please, someone will say, am I, am I going crazy or is it playing around? international law is your criteria for it's that... It's not! Is international... What is your criteria? I need to brother, know... Brother, criteria... I tell you it's my criteria. Allah is my criteria. Okay, so I think... Yeah. I may be wrong. Yeah. Allah, you mean the Quran is the word of God, right? No doubt about that, yes. Sure, I think I could be wrong. Chapter 5, verse 21 of the Quran uh, says that God ordained the land to, uh, to the people of Moses. Uh, so we can check that. If that's your only criteria, and no, it's not. Is it? Allah ordered that place for the Muslims, regardless of where their tribe comes from. It belongs to the Muslims. Allah mentioned that in the Quran, no doubt. Where? So. Neritul Arda. You see, he plays, you know, proper. Come back, come back. Before I get the verse, come back. I'm asking you. Look, I, I understand that your criteria is. The There's other verse, but. No, no, before my criteria, because I see you twisting again. Before my criteria. Palestine, you let us go back to main points. You say go back to main point, main points. Do you know what? Because I know for a fact you're gonna go to the back to Torah, the Old Testament. You keep saying that and yeah. I'm not going. There. Okay, so why you think you had the right to come and take over a country which belonged to specific people? Well, by belong, they didn't rule it. Okay, who was ruling before Jacob existed? Who was ruling that part? I thought you meant before modern day Israel. No, uh, let's go back to the Asal. That's why I'm gonna take it to even the Asal. Go back to the Asal, to the original point, the Asal. Because you said, he said to me that exist, Israel existed 3,000 years earlier on. You know, you seem like you have a fish memory. I don't have. I can't remember everything. Yeah, Israel existed 3,000 years. Okay, 3,000 years. There, before that, that country was belonged to specific people. Yeah. Who gave them a right to come and take over? And where is the proof they came and took over? Do you think the world cared about rights back then? No, no, I'm asking about right or left. No, 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 I'm asking you. Where did you get that? So, who gave you the right and where did you get that information that you came and took over? Where did you get that information? Are you talking about when Joshua conquered? Before Joshua, oh, yes. The Old Testament. The Old Testament. The right. Yes, of course, Achie, I know that, bro. What do you mean it's in the Old right? Testament. No one cared. You think people cared about rights 3,000 years ago? Of course, they care about rights. You think maybe you people didn't care about rights? Yes, they did. You think the British uh, made it up or something? Human rights don't care about that 3,000 years ago. No, they did. Alhamdulillah. And the Quran teaches us human rights in the Quran. The Quran around 3,000 years ago? No, the Quran speaks about Abraham's life. 3,000 years ago. Abraham, how many years was he alive? 3,800. Khalas then. He speaks about yeah. Ibrahim, how Allah showed him how to take care of the, the people, how to deal with his non-believers, how to deal with his father. 
even if you're a father non-believer, he's right as a father to respect him. That's called a human right. Come on, man, you're going to make me angry. Plagiarism from the Torah. Huh? Continue. Hold on, no, no. how is plagiarism from the Torah? How? Forget that, continue. How the Torah? You believe Torah is even from God? Continue. Anyway, before... Listen, man, answer I, my I question. Need, there are so many ways to I know, your question. No, no, I know you're going to get trapped. You know for a fact you're going to get trapped. trapped. That's why you keep playing. You keep what playing. Play? All right, brother, simply, okay, let me just take you. So 1,000 years, the Muslims ruled, like you said, 1,200 years. Yeah. I know you keep playing with the old one because the information of the Jewish people came took over Palestine is in the Old Testament. No, you know? we dig in the land, we find Jewish artifacts, we find Hebrew. There's archaeological evidence that the Jews were there. It's not just based on the Torah. No, 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 there's no archaeological, there's, yeah. there, there's archaeologists, Jewish people who said there's not even proof that Moses existed. We're not talking about Moshe. <laughs> Moses before Joshua. Moses if you died like, before they conquered the land. Moses I'm didn't not get say, there. I didn't say... We're not, talking about say. Jewish control over the land of Israel, for which uh, you, there is a myriad of archaeological evidence. Okay, so according to archaeologists, Jewish people, that the, 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 the Solomon, Prophet Solomon, yeah. his, even his empire, it was very tiny. Sure. Yeah. So you accept that? I, I don't know, I need to read about it. Yeah, so anyway, the point, anyway, so who gave you the rights and where did you get the information? You're talking about uh, Zionism or the Canaanites? Okay, Zionism. Who gave you the right to come take over a country which belongs to the Muslims? For 1,000 years. But they conquered it. Okay, now please answer my question. Who gave you the right to come and take? Because if you're going to tell me they conquered it, all right. The Christians, the Jewish people, they were in Andalusia before the Christians. Are you aware yeah. of that? The Israelites, yeah. yeah the Christians come took over, yeah? Yep. Why don't you go back and take over because you were there before them? Huh? I don't want to live in Spain. Oh, you don't want to live in Spain? Well, stop playing around with me, you Algerian. We don't play around. Anyway, my point here, why you can't take over a country is not belong to you. British gave you something that does not belong to them. No, it does belong to us and I'll tell you why. Why? There is one nation state that has existed there. Huh? The only people to have ever had a nation state, an independent kingdom in Palestine are the Jews. Before... Oh, come before, so How many years that? How many years that? How long ago? Or yeah. How many years? Uh, how many years before? The Muslims came. Well, the Muslims came when? 700? When the Muslims came, it was under the Christians. Yes? I think so, yeah. So, for six, more than 800 years, you had no rule over it. I didn't realize he naturally says Palestine himself. Yeah, Alhamdulillah, he knows that. He knows, no, because I know when I say Israel, he'll say, it's a, oh, Israel doesn't exist. Yeah, no, 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 before yeah, no, that, before that. Crazy. So, for 800 years, brother, they were, it was under, be careful your phone. It was under the Romans, yes? It yeah. was under the Romans, yeah? yeah. That the Muslims can't take over. It was not even under you at all. So nearly 2,000 yeah, years, was it was under the Christians the and the Muslims. Is, the so who is, gave you a right to take over Palestine, not other countries? The UN. The United the, thank States. you very much. The United Snakes. They gave you the right. So there's oppression because it does not belong to them. Thank you for being honest. Wassalamu alaikum wa barakatuh. Therefore, you are oppressing people by taking over a country that does not belong to you. And may Allah guide you to Islam, both of you. But what, but what does that mean? Come on, be honest. Sorry? What does that mean? You can look it up. God forbid, yeah, like we say, but you're not even Jewish anyway. You're Israelite or Jewish? Why are you? I'm are you Jew. You're Jew? Yes. Okay, so you go, your lineage goes back to Judah? Yes. Yes. Yes, Ali goes okay. back to King David. Well, I'm, I'm not denying that, I'm just asking questions. So, you know, because there's Israelite and there's Jewish. Like there is a. So, we, we, no, it's not really. It's not, because Israelites, okay, Jew, Jewish people go to Judah. And Israel, you had many sons. Yeah. Yeah, and one of them is Judah. So not every Jewish God, not every yeah, Israel. You know why we're called yeah. Jews, by the way? Go on, why? Tell me, go on. Because the last, we, the land we were last in is called Judea. Because under Judah, the, the Judah, yes, I know that. Yes. Yes. So what does that mean? So what about the other Jewish people? Or the other Israelites, what are they called? Well, well, they're, they're the ten lost, tribe. they're yeah, the ten lost yeah. tribes. Yeah, the Benyamites uh, and uh, who's the other one? We, we uh, Joseph. We're not in contact with no, them. No, anyway, so all your forefathers, yeah. be honest, no, 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 your great grandfathers, were they in Palestine or they were in Europe? We have family in Palestine since 1876. No, but you, your forefathers, grandfathers, all your families, like your yeah. grandfather, yeah. your granddad. Yeah. They were in Israel. They were, they were, uh, there was no country called Israel at that time. It was the Ottoman Empire. Palestine and Shomba Baya, Palestine. Is that Shomba Baya? No problem. You know, you know, when you speak to Algerian, you have to be careful. You know why? Because we Algerians, we don't play around with this stuff. You know, because we were occupied for 132 years, and we never backed down. And my brothers and sisters, Palestinians, they will never back down. And when they will overthrow you, you have a right to live there, no doubt. Because as a Jewish person, but not to take over a country and kill the people. You know. And what I was going to say to you about you saying, "May Allah forbid to become a Muslim." 
yeah. when you become Muslim, you worship God correctly. No. You still be Jewish as, anyway, as, as a no, rabbi. I'll ask you a question. My family have been in Palestine since 1876. Yeah, I don't and, deny uh, that some Jewish people have been there for a long time. But a lot of them came from Britain. <laughs> no, 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 all of you, brother. Some of you came from Europe, from Russia. Yeah, some of you came from Germany, from before? Spain. And before that? Yeah. Yeah. We were before that. How do you know we were before that? How? How do you know? Come on, man, stop. You've been cutting off. I'm not sure. So all Jewish people there, they have the family tree? No. Halas, that's my point. I'm not denying you. Maybe you've been there before. Your great grandfather was there. I'm not denying that. What I'm showing you, bro, to conclude, yeah? yeah. That is not logical for United Nations to give you a place that does not belong to them, okay? To come take over a country. You still haven't answered me other than I answered saying, you, man, no, no, already. No, no. I answered so you. I didn't understand. What is the question? The, by what criteria are you making the judgment of doesn't belong? Is it just the Quran? No, I'm saying to you, okay, listen, make it clear to you. You said your criteria is God. For 1,000 years, and not us, but for 1,000 years, the Muslim had it, yeah? I okay. So, yeah. Yes, more than more 1,000 years, yeah, more than 1,000 years. Yeah. So you come to a country, I mean, even the people that were Muslims, they were originally there before. There were Palestinian Arabs there before, you yeah. understand? Or the, the people that were living there, except Islam, you understand? So in, in reality, it's their country too. I so, know. So, okay, so if you conquer a country, how long do you need to be there before it's yours, just so I understand? I'm not saying how long or not. My Look, point is... You said 1,200 years, it's a long time. Yeah, khalas, the, 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 yeah, the people accept Islam. Yeah, the people accept Islam. Is there people like Spain, you know Spain? Yeah. The people of Spain accepted Islam. Yeah. Yes. They accept Islam, it's their country, and they were happy with the Muslims. They mixed with the Muslims for 1,000 years. Khalas, you cannot come say, I'm a Jewish or I'm, I'm such and such, I'm going to take over. You understand? Because the people from that country, from that land, the, the indigenous accept Islam. And the indigenous people in Palestine, when Islam came to them, accepted Islam. It's their country, and you came by the aid of the United Scorpions, and they put you there. Why did they put you in? You know what they gave you? They gave you Argentina. They offer Argentina to you. Or where's the other country in Africa? Uganda. Uganda, thank you. Uganda. Yeah, because we're not from there. But just so I know. Hang on, what, uh, there are Jewish people in Uganda. Yeah. Yeah. That's not so, where they're from. That's where they were exiled. Brother, uh, excuse me, you're from. About, you're an Ethiopian Israelite. Am I Ethiopian? No, do you know about the Ethiopians yeah. Israelites? Yeah. They live in Israel. Yeah. No, they're in yeah, Ethiopia. Yeah, yeah. Ethiopia. Yeah, they live in Israel. Ethiopia. Yeah. So before, before, what you have to understand, when, when Jacob came, and the children of Jacob, you had no land. Uh, yeah. That's it. So don't tell me it's like you, in order for you to be Israelite, you have to be from that country. No, don't say that. Because no. you are Israelite and you have no country to begin with. No, no, I, I said land. But yeah, I, no, I you had no land. Up. You had Why no land. According to you, Joshua conquered the land and the Israelites ruled the land. According to you. Sorry? According to you? You said that the, that the Israelites conquered the land from the Canaanites, right? The Quran, no, it doesn't say the Quran. Oh. Didn't you say that? No, I'm, I'm, what I was trying to establish to you, you justify, not you, but many Jewish people when you speak to them, they justify occupation, occupation to Palestine by saying, God gave it to us. Yeah, I didn't do that. Huh? No, I'm, I'm saying, that's what I'm saying, see? But now you said, as she said, she said the United, United Nations, United Nations. Maybe, yeah. Huh? You, United Nations. When you, let, let's talk about... Wait, wait, wait. Talk about God. No, 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 lie. Talk about God. I just want to. Well, lie. That's more important than anything else. Be servant of God. Worship God alone. And follow Prophet thing. Muhammad's teaching. That you'll be successful in this life and the hereafter. I wanted to clarify one thing. You said. What's the time, Akhir? The, 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 the Muslims have a right to Palestine because they were there for 1,000 years. Not just what they're the indigenous people except Islam. What is indigenous? What's the criteria for indigenous? The Palestinians. No, what, what, is the, what does indigenous mean? The people that have been living there for centuries. Yeah, Jews have been living there for millennia. No, no, uh, uh, again, for the millennium. Okay, but only Jews people there, there are no Arabs there, there are Palestinians there? Sure, we're co-indigenous. Kala, that's it, man, that's oh, it. Oh, so we're co-indigenous. So we both have a right. Uh, no, I didn't say that, if you have a right. What are you talking about? Yeah, prove wait, that to me, yeah, you wait, live in there. Wait, 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 prove that to me. Are we co-indigenous? Yeah, prove to me that you've been living there for 3,000 years. Sorry? Prove that to me you've been living there for 3,000 years. You know the city you Bro, you don't tell me dick, stop joking around. You don't dig and it says, uh, 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 Joshua never existed 3,000 years. I don't know what proof you require because when I give you the because proof... Because I know it's the Bible which you reject. No, it's not the Bible. So prove that to you me. You dig in the land, you find Jewish artifacts. You find Palestinian artifacts way before you. 
That's not true, but ah. fine, no problem. Bro, we're come on, man. What? We're no, co-indigenous. No, before problem. you, how co-indigenous? They didn't exist 3,000 years ago. Okay, so you're telling me before Israel was born, there was no one ruling over Palestine? By Israel, you mean the modern state? No, Jacob, because you said 3,000 years. Yeah. 3,000 years, Jacob came about, alayhi salam, Yaqub. So before Jacob, there was no one ruling after, uh, ruling over Palestine. That's what you're saying. No, I told you, the Canaanites ruled. The Canaanites. So who are the indigenous people? Sorry? Who are the indigenous people? Who are the indigenous people? The Jews. The Canaanites before them. Oh, so, by can... the way, I, I could be wrong on this. So well, take care of yourself. You're right, it's right. Can I need Canada or Arabs? Listen, take care of yourself. Canada or Arabs, man. So, Khalas. I move to you historically. Biologically, uh, Islamically. No, you can't. Okay. You see, this is dictator, Muslim dictator here. Okay. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. I, I Go think, I, I could be wrong on this, but our only real source from the time is the Bible. And if I'm not mistaken, the Bible says that the Canaanites actually came from Africa. But I could be wrong. On that. The Bible, we don't trust the Bible. No, I'm saying our only source from the time. Yeah, so why we don't trust Bible. it? You don't trust it. Oh, maybe some parts are historically accurate. Yeah, well, well, you pick a choose. <laughs> No, You're lying. Said said Sadaq Allah, Allah, Allah spoke the truth. You, they reject book, they reject some of the book and they accept some. <laughs> Allah, you, you, you know, every time I ask to Jewish people, yeah. they manifest to me what Allah said about them in the Quran. Yeah, I saw it's unbelievable. I saw a video of you, so, you see, well, like, exactly. Do you know which one you saw with uh, Joshua? Was it with Joshua about the uh, about Nasr, about uh, abrogation? Anyway, yeah. Anyway, yeah, take but, care of yourself. But, but, but May Allah guide you. No, 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 no. no, no there's no steal. I have to I give that one. Okay. Do you know why you don't understand? Yeah. The most important thing you don't understand that you're here to worship God. When you understand that, you understand everything. So, are you ready to speak about God? Ready? What? Intellectually, spiritually? What? No, no. With our thoughts, we're gonna speak. Of course, intellectually, brother. I'm young. I haven't How old are you? Very much. 18. Bro, 18. You're, you're old enough to get five women pregnant. You're telling me you're young. Please, please. We're like young, brother. Stop saying that. We're like 18 young. When I came to Kashyyyyah, I was 16. I came by myself, brother. A soldier, alhamdulillah. 18. Huh? Anyway, what we say to you, look, as a young person, think and reflect. What is my purpose in life? And okay, I believe in God. What is the correct way to believe in God? Did you know your ancestors believe in Prophet Muhammad? Sorry? Your ancestors. Which ancestors? Abdullah, um, uh, Abdullah, no, what was his name? Abdullah ibn Salam. He was a Jewish man. Where Check it out. Lived he lived in Medina. When? It was a time Prophet Muhammad So like 600. Yeah, yeah around I, that I, time. I, I probably don't descend from him. Yeah, we cry. Yeah, we're already in Europe, man. Yeah. Ah, again. We're already in Europe. I don't think I descend from him. No, but there's many, many Jewish people accept Islam. They accept the truth. He was my ancestor. No, when I say ancestor, I don't mean directly ancestor. I mean like he was Jewish. Like my, my Muslim. She's Jewish. She's not my ancestor. Brother, like we say, our ancestors Muslims, yeah. even though we're not direct ancestor. But I mean, for, like, okay. you don't understand? That I don't. Our ancestors who are the Muslims, there's, there's biological ancestors and there's spiritual ancestors. Okay? Like, there's many of them believe. You learn something new every day. Yeah. yeah when we Can you tell me why the Jewish people came to Medina? No. You know they came to Medina. Yeah, I know they were Jews in Medina. Yeah, yeah. Do, do you know why they moved to Medina? Why? Okay, because they were expecting for a prophet to come. What's the evidence for that? In Isaiah 42. Ah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, do you accept that? You don't accept it. Do I accept what? Isaiah 42. <laughs> no, no, Isaiah 42. Isaiah 42. What yeah. do I accept about it? There's, there's a prophecy about Prophet Muhammad there. Yeah, I've seen Josh completely dismantled any. Which uh, one? Which one? Isaiah 42. I saw him with. Uh, how dismantle it? Speak, how dismantle it? If Sorry? he speaks about. If your rabbis, your scholars, could not agree who was that man. Some rabbis said it was uh, Jacob, about Jacob, but it doesn't yeah. make any sense. Some of them said it's about... The one about Cyrus, right? Si no. Go, so. go Jeremiah 42. Which Jeremiah one? Isaiah, Isaiah. Yeah. Isaiah 42, yeah. yeah. No, there's few of them, but Isaiah 42. Let me, you read it, please. Connection. Isaiah 42, yeah. I read it and uh, see, yeah, inshallah. Uh, Isaiah 42. Salam alaikum, uncle. How are you, uncle? You all right? Barakallah for shukran, Jazakallah khair. You want some date? Sure. Give him some date. Oh, give the... look at that. Yeah, love look date. That. Sister, you want date? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah give up. There's no magic, brother. No, like your ancestor did magic for Muhammad. You magic. <laughs> <laughs> this is date of Algeria. Algeria? He gave you Quran, take it. 
Sure. As a I gift. Have, you know what I have at home? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know what I have at home? Which one? I have a translation in Hebrew. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah look, this one. This one. No, I find that Hebrew is my second language. What is your first language? English. Oh, okay, okay. But when I read the Quran in Hebrew, because the languages are similar, it flows much better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's true, it's a Semitic language. Here is my servant, whom I uphold. Read this, read this. My chosen one, yeah? Whom I, up, whom I delight. I will, be, I will put my spirit on him, and he will bring justice to the nations, yeah? He will not shout or cry out, or raise his voice in the street. A bruised reed, he will not break. But watch, I'm going to show you something. Sing to the Lord a new song, yeah? Okay. Uh, he prays from the ends of the earth, you who go down to the sea and all that is in it, you islands and all who lives in them. Let the witness and his town raise their voice. The settlement where Kedah lives. Rejoice. Do you know Kedah? It's in Arabia, I believe. Kedah, if you go Genesis 25, 13, <laughs> is the son of Ishmael. 25, 13, Genesis said he's the son of Ishmael. The firstborn is Nabiyot. The second one is Kedah, yes? So it speaks about, okay? Let the people of Sela sing for joy. Where is Sela? Sela is a rock. No, that's the name of the rock. No, it's a rock. No, Sela means rock no, in Hebrew. No. <laughs> listen, listen. Okay, where is Kedah? Why he says, let the people of Kedah rejoice? I don't know, I'm not a rabbi. There is no prophet from the Israel, Israelites came to make the people of Kedah rejoice except Prophet Muhammad. And he said, let us sing a new song. When you go to Hebrew, it means the new law. And there was no prophet after. Song means law. Go check it, Hebrew. Go. Shir means song. What is song? No, uh, uh, Rabbi, 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 excuse song me. Song is never law. Excuse me. In English, when they translate, sometimes they translate in a different wording. You understand? But if you go, if you go, go check it in Hebrew. Go. Go check in Hebrew. My phone is messed up. Your phone is messed up. All right, go. Cool. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Go on, Sorry. What I'm saying. Yeah, I looked it up in Hebrew. Yeah. Yeah. Go on safari.org that has the translation as far as I know the word shir never means law. No, no, no. Here, do you know there, there are sometimes some words in, in, the, in the Torah is metaphorical. Do you know that, innit? Yeah, it mean, like it's when, a symbol when, for when something. It says that God has a hand, it doesn't mean he has a hand. Yeah, that's, that's according to this window. This is the, the Moors never believed that. This window, when Judaism was influenced by Greek philosophy. That's when they start inter uh, changing the meaning of the, the Torah. The hand doesn't mean hand, this means, you understand? That's what happened. Yeah. But anyway, I, I want to understand why Keda say, let the people of Keda rejoice. When the people of Keda are the descendants of Ishmael. Why? You know, uh, what do you want from me? No, what I'm saying that use your brain, brother. Use this box you have. Use your aql. Use your intellect. That, okay, that's what I'm saying. My point is, the Jewish rabbis at the time of Prophet Muhammad after him, they use this passage to validate, validate that Prophet Muhammad is in the, the Torah. Okay. You're not even listening, man. No, no I'm listening. It's just, yeah, no, man. Take care of yourself, man. May Allah guide you to Islam. Inshallah. But I do want to clarify one more point. Uh, uh, brother, brother, don't, there's nothing to clarify. I have to go, Inshallah. Take care of yourself. Have a nice evening, Inshallah. Bye bye. Uh, let's go to someone called someone Islam, man. Politics, politics.